Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good evening, everyone. Today, our lecture will be our lecture will be talking about the forces in the body. Actually, this lecture contains from two parts. The first one, the first one will talk about in body. The second will talk about on body. The second will be at the next week. Okay. Uh, I know I recorded this lecture early, but that will be better to us. Okay. Let me go to the contents. Contains here, like I told you, uh, that we're talking about the all of these two parts from the forces in and on the body. Today lecture we'll talk about just in forces in body. These are contains from three sides, three kinds. The first one, the gravitational force, electrical force, and the last one is nuclear force. The most important two forces to us today is gravitational and electrical force. Let's go to take deeper information about gravitational force. What is the gravitational force? What is the benefits? to us by working, by walking, running, do any other activities, what the difference between walking in the earth and from walking in the, in the moon. Let me say, what is the difference between the different masses? Okay, all of these will take it all of these examples by supporting them by using some pictures. Here, the gravitational force. The force which pulls, which take objects with mass towards each other. Here, for example, the most common example is to us how we can walking in this planet. Why we walking like that? What is the effect on our masses to make us walking like that. This is the gravitational, gravitational force of our planet on our bodies. Why? Because our planet has a huge amount of mass. The second example, let me use this track. We go out fast, uh, what will be? What the relation between this uh, big truck, this big car, big, I don't know what you will say to car like that, but the most important thing, the relation between this big car and this small stones. When car like that through go out by use 100 or more 100 kilometer to each hour, what will do to stones like that? These small stones will start to fly, follow this huge mass. Why? Because the gravitational force. Gravitational force focus dependent on the huge mass. That means it's attractive force between two masses. First one approximately which will be huge. Second one will be very small. For example, the gravity force from Earth, like I said before, this force is what keeps our bodies on the Earth. Like I said before, it's a attraction between the huge mass of the Earth and our bodies, like the stone and this big car, like the sun and our uh, other planets, moon, earth, the others. And how all of these planets stay, fly around our sun. By using this law, force equal mass, multiple acceleration, when F is the force, M mass A acceleration, or in another source is written like G the same meaning, the unit of the acceleration, like we know, centimeter divided on second square or meter divided on second square. What the relation between the gravitational force and with the medical physics? 
what the relation between gravitational force and the medical effect. The gravitational force has any medical effect and how. Like I told, uh, told you at the first lecture, our job is to make link, to make connect between the physic object, physic topic, and the medical planets. Like I told you, we have two, a huge square. The first one is the physical planet. The second one is the medical planet. And how we can connect between these two squares to can achieve our goal, to can explain, to can understand our topics very well. Now, the gravitational force, like we know, it's from up to no. And if I lift now my phone, no opportunity to make this phone uh, fly up. The expected act is this phone will go out, will down to according or to the Earth direction. That's its fact. Why? Because the gravitational force. The same thing, the same thing, the same force, the same act on our bodies. The this force will act on our body from up to down. And we know we have a blood in our bodies. How this blood can flow out in all our bodies by the vents. The vents and another kind of ways arteries, arteries and veins. But today we will focus on veins. On arteries, the blood will flow from our heart, from our heart, go out by using the direction, the earth direction. Equal the gravitational force direction. But that means the blood will flow out from my heart to my legs to my hands. Okay? But with arteries, the situation is different. Uh, from arteries, sorry, will the blood direction will be from my heart to my legs to my arms. But advanced, the situation will be different. Why? Because at veins, the blood will go back to my heart. That means I have two ways. All of these, the blood, by using all of these, the, the, the blood can go from the heart and come back to it. In this lecture, I will focus on veins and what is the vercus. In this formation of vercus, veins in the legs as the venous blood travel travels against the force of gravity on its way to hurt. Like I told you before, uh, at veins, the blood will come back to the heart. That means from my legs to my heart, from my arms to my heart, from the most far point from my body and come back to my heart. That's mean against the gravitational force because a gravitational force from up to down, but here the blood direction at vents will be from down to up. This is the main idea and the connection point. By using it, we can explain the gravitational force and the, the its relation on the vents and how the vercus can be made or happen. Now let's give a good words to kind of definition the vercus vents. What is the vercus vents? They are vents that have become enlarged. That will be bigger and it's a disorder. 
uh, yes, it's a disorder. It's a kind of sick and twisted. And it causes some pain, causes some, I can't say damage, but it can causes some pain. And we will explain, we will learn how this disorder thing happened. Here, I have this picture. Let me illustrate what these two sides explain to us. At first one, it's the normally veins. The blood will flow from the most far point in our bodies, go out to the heart direction from down to up. This figure explain that to us. Blood from, from up to, from down to up, to the hair direction. But here, some disorder, some strange thing is happening here. The veins shape is different here by take a different shape. Let me use my pointer mouse to explain the right place. And after that is multiplied to be like that. That's mean we have some strange, strange thing is happened on the veins direction, okay? Let's go to the next slide. What is the vercus again when the veins become vercus? Let me minimize my camera here. Or, yes, that will be better. Yes, let me come back again. When the veins become vercus, that's mean the disease it's happened. The leaflets of the valves will no longer meet properly. That's mean some bad thing will happen. Why? Because these valves must be meet each other to can make correctly blood flow. You can to make opportunity to this flow to come back to my heart. Let me explain some important things uh, by using this figure here. Like I said before, advance the blood direction will be from down to up according to or go to the hair direction. Here it's normal veins, but here the vercus is happening. We have a lot of curves instead of line veins. And here I will have some backwards to the flow direction. Here the Blood flow or blood flow direction must be from up, from down to up, like that, from down to up. But here we have some bad words, blood flow, and some, a lot of curves instead of the line vents. This is the vercus vents. Here, like is written here, a regular blood flow. By that, the valves don't work. Must these valves must meet each other to can give opportunity to make the blood come back again to the heart, and this direction will keep going. This allows blood to flow backwards and they enlarge even more. That's mean this curves 
will be more and more. The spans will be bigger and bigger. And sure, we saw that at the service of some friend's body severing from this disease, approximately at the legs. Okay. Varicose veins are most common in the superficial veins of the legs, like I said before, which are subject to high pressure. What this disease made, what this disease cases, which are subject to high pressure when standing, some painful, approximately, specifically when you are start to standing again on your legs can be painful when standing and being a cosmetic problem. Yes, it's not, it's not uh, gives a good look, okay? To the man or woman, doesn't matter. At all of these two genders, it's a cosmetic problem. The second, and the important force is the electrical force. Like we know, at the magnetic, some huge similarity in this topic with the magnetic phenomenon, with the magnetic characteristic. Electrical force, it's, it is one of the various forces that act on objects. And it's two kinds, like we know, uh, the same, uh, the same, situation, same kinds on the magnetic, repulsive and attracting. Attracting, sorry, repulsive force will be between uh, a like charge, like this figure explains to us. Attracting will be with unlike charge. The same thing with the magnetic. When, we, when you bring two magnets, the first one is uh, both of them, let me say, like charge will be repelling, repel, repulsing, sorry, uh, force between them. When you will make all of these has different charge, will be attracting, sure, will be attracting force between them. By that, I have two charge between them a distance. Sure, and this distance, it's a uh, most it's an important element, important element uh, in this relation. Okay, because this relation, to explain this relation, we will focus on Coulomb's law. We'll focus. We have some elements. Uh, the first one is these two charges the distance between them. And after that, we'll try to explain the Coulomb's law by focusing on all of them. Coulomb's law, it is the electrical force between two charged objects and is directly, that's mean by increasing the first, the second will increase, proportional to the quantity of the charge. The force will, if this force increase, or that's mean the both of the, or the multiple quantity between these two charges will increase. And inversely, proportional to the square of the distance among them. That's mean at this R, at this distance, uh, commonly it's written R. That's mean the distance between these two charges. Uh, inversely, that's mean by using one of the resistance or the force, the second <clears throat> element will decrease. Increasing first, decreasing the second element, and the reverse. Now, what is the force equation? That means what is the Coulomb's law? Like we know, and you take it, <clears throat> you are taking that at the middle school or high school, I don't know. F equal Q multiple Q1, Q2 divided on square the distance, multiple K. What is the K? It's the constant number. Like when you go to the restaurant to take a chicken, you will pay to taking this chicken, but at the same time, 
to be delicious, <clears throat> the smell to be delicious, it must add it some amount of salt. Without the salt, this meal will not be delicious. That means you will not be satisfied. But you will not pay to adding the salt to the smell. At Columns Law, the K is the salt who it's added to the chicken meal. K is the constant number, like I told you. K1, K2 is the amount of the charge or the distance of the electrical force. It will be repulsive or attracting. Important note, this attracting or repulsive force, it's a huge amount. When you think about, oh, I have two charges and some attractive or repulsive force. Okay, two charges, that means this force is weak. No, this is a huge amount according to the gravity, gravitational force. Relation of the force and our bodies, our bodies are electrical, uh, basically electrical machine, like I explained at the previous lecture, our muscles work according to the electrical charge, according to the attracting and repelling force. We'll take simple idea about how our muscles work by focusing on this slide. This force is produced by the muscles are cased by electrical charge, attracting or repelling. One, each of them will act a different action. Must uh, one of them maybe to make my arm like that to be straight line, the other to make my arm, make my muscle crash or be like that. Okay, that means we have two different action. The electrical charge will control these two different actions in my muscles. Control of the muscles is primary electrical, each of the billions of living cells in the body. This is important note because it's it takes, let me say, deeper information about how my muscle work. Each of the billions of living cells in the body has an electrical potential difference. Wow, that's mean our living cells has voltage across the cell membranes because of the difference in the charge between inside and outside of the cell. At the electrical lecture, you know when you have charge, you have different potential. Here, I have different potential in my living cells. Why? Because I have different charge in my membranes cell inside and outside. By that, I have different potential. Last one in body, the nuclear force, how the important elements in the, inside the atom with different charge still with each other. It acts between the protons B and neutrons N of atom and it binds them together in the nuclear. Like we know here, like we are seeing here, protons, the P, neutrons without charge, electrons at the outer shell, orbiting electrons here. The nuclear force type, our strong nuclear force, it's very longer than the other and it acts like glue, like band to hold each other against the repulsive force. Why? Because here, let me say that again, it's very long, it's very, lo uh, very longer than the other type. I'm talking about the strong nuclear force. It acts like band to hold the nucleus against the repulsive force is they're produced by the protons on each other. Like I said before, in electric or in magnet, doesn't matter, this change the same situation, but like 
charge is repulsive, repealing each other. It's fact. But must asking ourselves how the proton with the same charge inside the atom stay with each other by using the strong nuclear force. Without it, the, these protons will repulsive, will repealing each other. And weaker nuclear force, it is involved with electron decay from the nuclei, nucleus. Here, I didn't focus very well and didn't take deeper information, nuclear force, and the same thing uh, the doctor of Baghdad University didn't take deeply information. In my opinion, the gravitational force and the electrical force is our uh, most important. And we did this link between the physical background and the medicine field. Thank you so much. Have a good day. See you in the next lecture. At next lecture, we'll talk about the force on body.